So I'm taking a little break from unboxing everything and we came to Michael's for baskets, but we found pumpkins galore. Oh my gosh. Well, hold on, don't show the Halloween yet. I'm gonna to show them these little babies and they're already going fast, so I thought I'd show you guys. They're super cute, they're little pics. And they have them in the nude and then they have them in an orange and I'm getting, I'm just getting three of them. Cause you guys know I have pumpkins galore, but these are just too cute to pass up. Cause they're very country. Also, these are pretty. I don't think I showed you the right code. All the cute new country stuff, you guys. And I was just saying how I want to have more blues incorporated and look. So many pretty blue pieces. I'm not, I'm tempted, but I'm not going to because I want to get more antique pieces. But these are so country and cute. I love the milk little craft. And the picnic baskets are so cute too. Oh, I love these. Yeah, those are pretty. For the pantry, those would be cute. Okay, now look at all the Halloween cute stuff, okay? Are you kidding me with the candy corn picks? I think I like these even more though, the bigger ones. I got some more down there. They got little ghosts. Oh my goodness, look how cute. <sighs> and there was a little gnome one too, look. Hey guys. What? Oh, that's cute. That's going in my house. Yeah, I could totally see that in your house. More cute blue stuff. I love the quilted pillows. Oh, I love these. These are beautiful. Don't they look like antique pieces? But I want real ones. <laughs> That's cool though. They only have a few little signs and stuff that they're putting up, but I just thought I would share with you guys what I do see. Those are cute. The stuffing begin. And they have these little pumpkins and some pillows. They have these little creatures over here. Look at the turkey, he's so cool. If you're on like Thanksgiving, these. he's really cool for a centerpiece. Like these? Yeah, those are very country and cute. And, and I have, have this, these. you guys remember, I got this pumpkin garland if you want it. They have it back with a cute little plaid. And they have these pumpkins, fatties. Oh, those are so cute, chubby pumpkins. What are these? Oh, these have this kind. Yeah, these are cute. Mama B really likes this pumpkin too. So this place took over for Pier 1, Ivy and Sage, and my mom said it's like Rodworks, which is this really cute country store that we have here in Gilbert, but this is bigger, so I'm in trouble. you guys so many cute things in here I'm already picking up something I love these gray beads they're only 15 someone has little bees on them they make these someone makes these <laughs> she gives them cute they are so cute they have, you see the little bee on her nose they are so cute so people like different um, people come together in the store and make different products and sell them. So that's why there's like all different kinds of things. It makes these adorable corn plushies. And then look at the acorn ones. I'm getting the acorn ones. They're so cute.
so I did get a few items at that cute shop I wanted to share with you guys. So I told you I got the really cute acorns. Um, there's this one that has more of like a sweater fabric on the bottom. And then I just love them. I think they're so unique and fun. I love that it says Hello Fall with a little tag there. And then there's this one here that has the gray checks, um, the buffalo check. So I'm gonna put those in like a little ball or something for my fall decor. And then I got one of these, this kind of wraps around a bottle or a vase, um, and it has a little bee charm at the end. I just liked it because it was supporting, supporting local business too. Like these are all made by people, which I really liked. And I love this gray um, beaded garland. So I got that one. And then these two are presents for Dr. Rocklin. I don't know if I um, filmed her little setup with all the little piggies she has in her kitchen. And I saw this one that um, the girl that makes these acorns makes this as well. And so I got her one, a cute little unique pig. I just thought it was so cute. And then I also got her a... Um, Bloody Mary mix. and I don't think I spoke about this on the last vlog because who wants to talk about it but our hearts hurt badly but we still love the sons and we're all about wearing their apparel forever. now forever. yeah forever <laughs> but um we were really excited about the valley oop hopefully I can insert something here so that you know what I'm talking about if you don't but I ordered these shirts right after oh, it I happened and... I could tell them if they want to know. Okay, right. so it was like less than a second left in the game. And uh, uh, Jay Crowder was out on the out of bounds and he mm. passed it in. Just barely <laughs> missed the backboard. <laughs> <laughs> he just barely missed the backboard and DeAndre and caught it. Or I uh, just tapped it in. And we were able to uh, win that game in the last second. Didn't even leave enough time for them to come back and do anything. It was dubbed the Valley Oop. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Crazy play. So, People yeah. Screaming. We're going to be both wearing these. This is mine. That's Chris's. So, at that adorable country store, I got these lamps as a happy birthday to myself. And I absolutely love them. They were such an afford affordable price. Don't mind the bed not being made. It's sheets day, cleaning the sheets, washing the sheets, whatever. So I didn't make the bed yet. But anyway, look how stinking cute these are. They are so like country French. I love them so much. And the other one's the exact same. And if you saw this sitting on my bedside table, it's actually an early birthday present from my parents. And it's an Echo Dot with clock, so I don't know if I'll probably put the other, our other Alexa in the kitchen, but I have the Google Home in there too, so maybe it'll go in Chris's room, but anyways, we have this cool new Echo Dot for the bedroom, for our alarm and everything, so really excited to try that out. Right now I'm using these organizers I purchased off of Amazon. They're really nice. Um, I'm organizing my socks and I have like fuzzy socks and exercise socks in here and like regular socks. I have like another pile over there still. Um, and then I have, I'm doing my underwear as well, organizing these little bins and it comes in a pack of three. I got the gray, but I think it does come in other colors and it has like a breathable fabric in between. So yeah, that's my exciting Sunday night. So this came in from It Cosmetics Skincare today. Don't mind the sound, that was Holly going to outside. But it says, skin concerns say bye-bye. And it looks like they have some new serums that they came out with. So this one has vitamins, a lot more vitamin C in it for dullness lines, 1.5% um, hyaluronic acid. This one has 10% glycolic acid for pores and then 4% niacinamide for dark spots. Um, I have a few dark spots. So definitely these two are going to be something that I'm interested in. Oh my gosh, it looks like they have like a little diffuser like for some alcohol too. So it looks like you just add alcohol to this little jar right here. This is by Camp Craft Cocktails. This is definitely a new trend where you like diffuse your alcohol. Um, so I'm very curious about this. So thank you for that. And like comes in its own little mason jar shaker. It's so cute. And then here are all the serums. So I'll be testing these out and I will let you guys know. It's kind of where you can be your own scientist, like mix and match for your best serum. So I'm totally going to use these together, um, like a couple, like a drop here, the drop here, you know what I mean? Um, and then I will let you know what I think of them. 
as I use them. Hey guys, so I decided to do a little extra makeup today because we are going to be celebrating for my birthday a little bit early. It's Wednesday night, well, it's gonna be Wednesday night for tonight, it's the morning now. I've gotta go to work first. But then we're gonna be celebrating at Abuelo's tonight with my family, with my brother, his girlfriend, Chris, and my parents. Um, so I can't wait to have some margaritas, mango margaritas, and some yummy Mexican food later. Um, but yeah, I just wore my dress that I got from Target. Here, I'll stand up so you guys can see. It's like my little, I think I showed you this previously. But yeah. Oh, good guy. Probably wanted to say hi. <laughs> He's a good girl. She's getting bigger. So it's Dr. Rockland's birthday. I think I told you guys that I got this fun um, Bloody Mary mix because she loves that. Some vodka to go with it. This is a local brewery. And then the little piggy. And then her favorite candy. I didn't show you the card, but it's already done. Hey guys, the sun is bright, but we're about to head into dinner at Abuelo's. That's where I chose for my birthday dinner because it is my favorite Mexican food restaurant in the area. Actually, yeah, I think it is. Right, babe? Because they have, we like their margaritas and their chips and salsa, and that's, sorry, yes. <laughs> so um, and we have a reservation, thank God, because whoa, it's crowded. I'll show you our yummy food later, though. Dad's ready. Oh, no, he's about to pull a sauna. Okay, I haven't opened my presents from Brian and Haley, but look how cute this wrapping paper is. Super cute. And the card was also this theme, which I thought was so cute. So I'm gonna open these now. I opened my parents' presents, um, and I guess I can show you guys. So this is really important for all of the whole family. Um, everyone got one of these recently for birthdays. It's a dash cam. My dad's gonna help me install it in the house. Sorry, the air conditioning just kicked on. And then look what she found. Mama B also got me, found me one of these gumball machines. And um, uh, also a subscriber also reached out to me, which I have to contact them now that I moved in and found me one as well. This one just wants to play the whole time I've been home. And I've been trying to play with her, but I'm like, I've got to film this real quick because so, I'm going to be doing some editing tonight too. Anyways, last but not least is this tumbler that my dad had created um, by someone at his work that makes these. So I'll make sure to try and find a link for this too. And they also got me a scratch ticket. So I'm gonna do that as well in a little bit, but let me show you what the tumbler looks like. It's custom made. So it's pink since my favorite color is pink. And then it says honeybee. And then it has little honeybee glitter accent details to it. Isn't it so fun? I love it. I think it's so unique and fun. If you were wondering what was inside Brian and Haley's gift, they got me these solar power torches for our yard. So they're like, had the solar power on the top there and they, I have to assemble them still. They have like, you know, the different parts. So, oh my gosh, our, our yard is going to look so cute once we get it all put together at some point, which hopefully won't be in that far into the future. So I ordered this off of Amazon and I like it even more in person, which is a rarity that it looks even better in person. Um, it's like a gray washed wood and this is for my boots, dang my boots. Chris just helped me um, install or like put this together. But yeah, so I'm gonna hang my boots in my closet on this on the floor, but I just thought I'd show you guys what it looks like before the boots are on it. And I'll show you it in my closet. It'll kind of be hidden though, because it's on the bottom. Well, since I'm going to show you the boots, I thought I would share with you a little closet tour. So here's our closet. And here's my portion of the closet. We both share this, so that's why it's kind of in the middle. I've got my purses. It's up here. Holly's trying to find me. That's why you just heard her bark. Holly, I'm right here, babies. 
And then here are the shoes. I got these organization boxes off of Amazon. They're really lightweight. You can stack them. They lock in place like that. I've been using a lot more of my shoes now that I can actually see them and find them. Yes, I have to use a step ladder, of course, to get up to the top of some of there. But there are 12 on each side here. And then I just have my booties here. And then I have slippers and like flip flops in these. Um, these are like sunglasses and belts and um, a few like purses and wallets here. And then I have my hats up on the top here. And then the boots that I just showed you, that little hanger. There they are. Look how beautiful these flowers are. They're actually for Dr. Rockland. It's her, it was her birthday yesterday, but I came and picked them up from our Gilbert office. They got dropped off the wrong place. But anyways, I just had to share how beautiful this was because I love this vase. It has like a ripped effect there that kind of makes it look like a honeycomb. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Don't mind that in the back, that's Lucy's dog bed that I have in here when she goes for rides in the car with me. But anyways, I just picked up food from Rubio's. Um, if you've never been, I love their salsa verde shrimp tacos. So good, seriously so good. And I got Chris a California burrito, which I don't think he's had previously, but I know he loves those at other restaurants. And I had a free birthday coupon too. I got a free entree. So I'm going to take this home to Chris. I may end up seeing my bestie Eliana today. She's in town for the week. Of course, we're going to California and she's here in Arizona. How funny is that? So, and then Chris and I need to pack for our little weekend getaway to California. I don't know if I told you guys, but he surprised me with a California trip for my birthday. Just, just a little quick getaway just to get by the water because that is my place of like stress cleanse, like stress free. I just love being by the water and so does he. So we both can't wait. So in case you were wondering, this is what the salsa verde shrimp taco plate looks like. It has avocado and obviously shrimp and this sauce that's really good in cabbage. And then you get some. So I am deep into packing for our little weekend getaway. The dogs are here in the room with me too, right? And by the way, Lucy has that soft, soft cone on because she got a little boo-boo on her arm and she kept trying to lick it and it was hurting it. So now it's getting better. She's doing okay. She's actually, she looks so tired right now, but she's just as energetic as she always is. That cone, that cone is awesome. I got off Amazon. It doesn't like, it's like a pillow for them. Anyway, I was so surprised at work today to come to work to these amazing gifts from my good friend Cheryl and Dr. Auckland Simone. They are amazing. And I'm just so lucky to have such a wonderful work family as well as, you know, my family at home. And so they made it very special today. We had some birthday cake too. And I want to share with you what they got me because I am going to bring them on the trip. And look, see how she puts her paw on me? She's like, hello. Okay, baby. Okay, so first thing I opened was this amazing crossbody purse. I love it so much. I have nothing like this. Um, obviously, it's Michael Kors, and I love the light pink details. And then it's just big enough to fit what I need, especially when I'm traveling. There's two little pockets here. Obviously, I haven't taken all the stuffing out. And then there's one zipper compartment in the center. And obviously, I'm going to take all this out. There's other little pockets, but it's perfect size. And I am going to keep it crossed. And also these adorable sandals. They said they definitely thought of me when they saw these because of how fun and girly they are and pink. And I think Cheryl said that she has a pair in a different color. They come in different colors if you're curious, but so cute. I love the little knotted detail on the side and the front. They look and feel cushy. Like when I'm pressing against them, they're so cushy. So I'm gonna wear these out and about in California too. Both of these. And, oh my gosh, the card was so funny too. Look. I already laughed right at this one. <laughs> it's so true. Anyways, they put a really sweet message in there too. Hey guys, we're out on the open road. Going to California. He's driving. And we already hit traffic. But that's okay. Because so we're in good vibes vacation mode.
birthday Starbucks to start off the morning. It's only 7.30, <laughs> but we didn't really sleep in today. And I got my green tea matcha. I got a bird. Taking a drive, because we're gonna go head over to a different beach. But we're passing Coronado right now, which is my favorite, favorite place to be so far in California. So it's a really cloudy day right now. It's not even 9 a.m. though. We're in La Jolla. I'm gonna go and get some sweaters because we didn't bring any sweaters or anything and we're kind of chilly, so we're gonna go get some coffee. All right, we had to get, I got a zip up and he got a hoodie. Because <laughs> we're cold. Yeah. Silly Arizonians. Low 60s. Okay, if I ever win the lottery, I want this house. It's so cute and country. I don't know if you can see it. It's like all brick. It's so cute, but it has like a cottagey feel to it too, and it's huge. It's beautiful. The houses here are insanely beautiful. So we got this pretty cool beach tent for review purposes, and it comes all folded up like this, and it came in a case. So we just carried it onto the beach. It's really nice and lightweight too. So Chris is gonna help me show you guys how to undo it. But I also wanted to show you this new blanket, just this one here. It's a really soft texture. It's a little, it's not as like fluffy as a regular beach towel would be, but it's very soft. And it actually does not allow the sand to stick to it. Um, if it gets on top of it, it shakes off really easy and it doesn't cling to it. So it's really nice for the beach. And then we, it wasn't big enough for the both of us. So we just laid out another towel there. All right, are you gonna do it, baby? All right, so it's super easy. He's just gonna pretty much shake it to release it. And it already pops up into your little beach tent. And then, I mean, if you are in a place where you can camp on the beach, then this is really awesome because so you can have open view of the beach. But if you're just like us and want some coverage when it's not cloudy later, <laughs> it's cloudy right now, we don't really need it. You can still have your beach view lay out but be covered isn't that awesome and then it just folds back we'll show you later how we just fold it back and it also has these little things here so you can put some weights down on it so it won't fly away hey guys <laughs> we're in our tent it's so cool and this is actually a little when so that you can hook on the corners there so you can have even more privacy, but we want it to be open. It's really pretty back there, actually. We move the blankets inside. And this is currently our view. Having a little ice cream treat for my birthday. We're sharing this. Just went to the gas station and got some drinks too. And I'm gonna try this out for the first time. Has anyone tried the tropical mango vitamin water? We'll see what I think in a second here. This is even better than I thought it would be. The cookie is like really soft like cookie dough. It's bomb. It is absolutely balls. Worth every calorie. this really cute boutique in Coronado. I just wanted to show you guys a few cool things that they had. I thought this was cool, this clock. And they have these really cool magnifying magnifiers. I mean, what are they called? Magnifying glass? Yeah. And then where's your that compass thing, man? That was so cool. So Chris found this because there are a few like antiques alongside new things here. And it's like a cool compass. So we are sharing the Ortega burger that has American cheese and chilies and avocado. We got the half pounder because we're sharing it. Looks like there's some goodies on the side there. And then we've got the fries and onion rings on the side to share. We're now at Imperial Beach. This 
So we are on our way to my birthday dinner. I'm not exactly sure of the place yet. I will show you when we get there, but I know that it's on the water. And I'm wearing um, this dress that I think that you guys have seen maybe more than once now, I'm not sure. Okay, it's very bright, but then at least you can see my makeup a little bit better. Like the, I use that Too Faced peach palette that kind of has like a cream to powder product. I did very natural makeup because I didn't want to go too crazy. And I did do some glowy stuff up top here from Sol de Janeiro. And then this is the dress. So I think for my drink, I'm going to get the strawberry mojito. You getting a drink, babe? I know. Get a margarita, maybe? And then I'm, I'm torn. I'm not sure what I'm going to get for my meal yet. I'm thinking maybe the crab mac and cheese, because if you can't be naughty on your birthday, when can you? And um, we're right on the water. We're going to get to see the sunset. Here is right there. All right, got my mojito, which is amazing. And I did get the crab mac and cheese and it smells so good. And look at Chris's burger. Whoa, buddy, it has bacon jam. Having some cappuccino now as we watch the sunset. We got a prime parking spot at Coronado. Gonna spend a little time at the beach here at the hotel. We're going to California Burritos for brunch this morning. So we got the California Burrito, which has carne asada, guacamole, um, fries, fried potatoes, and sour cream. So good.